guys happy new year and welcome back to my channel if you're new here my name is Naku Alute and you are most welcome to my youtube channel however I would really do appreciate it if you hit the subscribe button below to join my amazing youtube family if you are a returning viewer or if you are already subscribed thank you so much for coming back I do appreciate your support in today's video I'm going to be answering all of your questions relating to planning a wedding here in Ghana so after I posted my previous videos on planning my traditional marriage as well as the occasion itself I've had a lot of questions from you guys and so I put it up on my Instagram story as well as on my YouTube community tab for you guys to ask me anything at all you want to know about planning a wedding here in Ghana and I've received numerous questions from you guys questions relating to cost, budget, vendors and a whole lot so in today's video i'm going to be answering all of these questions so if this sounds like something you are interested in then don't go anywhere stick and stay till the end of this video and don't forget to hit the subscribe button but another question that was very 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 common is if i'm going to have a wild wedding this other person even said if yes then i beg invite me <laughs> so about having a wild wedding um let's see okay <laughs> so <laughs> about the wild wedding let's just wait and see who knows maybe there might be however if any of you was willing to sponsor my mind day i know bore like you can just sponsor and we'll have it today 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 so look sharp okay <laughs> okay so this other person says hi naku hope you are good please i would be glad if you can do a video on what to pay for and what your husband should also pay for and um, please did you sort your bridesmaids out with everything they needed okay so i've already spoken about the bridesmaids aspect of it so i'm going to talk about the first part of it that has to do with um what you are supposed to pay for and what your husband is supposed to pay for so i don't think there's like any standard formula as to um the woman takes care of this the husband takes care of that in my own opinion but i know that for traditional um marriages or for engagements it is known that the man and his family are coming to your house so as the woman and your family you are supposed to receive them so you are hosting them so ideally the woman and the family is supposed to to receive them make sure your house is in good shape decor everything to receive your guests but like i said earlier there's no standard formula or there's no standard allocation that the woman takes care of decor makeup and the man takes care of music dj no i believe it's just um communication and what you and your husband or you and your partner agree to do so if your partner decides to take care of the entire cost hallelujah if you think you are in a position to take care of the entire cost fair enough if you and your husband or you and your partner decide to do a 50 50 that's also good like it's it's between you and your partner whatever works for you whatever is ideal for the two of you so if you think that oh you would want to take care of this whilst your husband takes care of that fine if your partner says no let me sort out everything so be it hallelujah bravo so yeah there's no standard formula there's no laid down allocation that oh the husband has to do this and the wife has to do that no so uh, based on this another advice i would want to give is don't look at what other people are doing to to plan yours for instance if for someone's own the person said oh my my husband or my partner took care of everything that doesn't mean that go and bother your partner too that oh for my friend's own she said the husband took care of everything so you are also supposed to take care of everything know the ability of your partner know what your partner can do and work according to your means catch your coat according to your size as simple as that the fact that everyone is doing this doesn't mean you should also do the same capish 
okay so this other person is asking how much is it to plan a wedding in ghana i live in the uk and would like to do my engagement in ghana hmm. so i'll give you a fair idea of um how much um particular aspects cost so i've already spoken about how much the kente outfit is likely to cost the kente itself can cost about a thousand two hundred thousand 500 1800 ish um yes that's like the range i believe however i know that some people have their kente like custom made so i believe those ones would be a bit more expensive however for the normal ones that like you can walk into a shop to buy um i, I think it will be between 1200 ghana cities and 1800 ghana cities averagely okay for decor for decor it would be really hard for me to to give like a particular range because um it differs from what everyone wants so it will be hard for me to give a particular range of how much decor is going to cost you and also because i didn't really contact a lot of vendors when it came to decor because i was having my occasion in takwa so there was no point contacting vendors in accra so i didn't really speak to a lot of vendors when it came to like decor, I just found um, a perfect person in Takrade and then I went straight to her and that was it for me. So for her, I wanted um, a rustic theme. So I remember the very first invoice she sent me, it was around, <laughs> the very first invoice she sent me was around, um, hold on guys, let me not give you wrong information. The very first invoice she sent me was around 13,000 Ghana cities and this was for 100 people. So this was before I actually went in to let her know how I want this, how I want that, I don't want this this way, I want this that way and I also increased the number to 150. Um, so let's say for a rustic theme, for 100 people the minimum could be around 13,000 based on what I know. Yes. And it could go as high as, hold on. Hold on guys. Okay guys, so let's say for a rustic theme for 100 or 150 people, it could start from about 13,000 to about 20,000 Ghana cities so that's like the range um per what i know because like i said i didn't really contact other and vendors for photography and videography um they also have their own packages as to what you want the number of pictures some some even have the number of hours they are going to spend at your function and all of that the number of hours they are going to shoot for and all of that but then I would say roughly it ranges from um, 3,000 Ghana cities to like 10,000 Ghana cities. So depending on what you want, depending on if you want like a short um, highlight video for social media, if you want a full video of the entire um, occasion and all of that, the number of pictures you want and all of that. Some even specify if you want like a drone shoot, they have like a particular package for all of that so roughly i would say it ranges from 3000 ghana cities to 10,000 ghana cities and that's for photography and videography for makeup i would say it ranges from like um 600 ghana cities to like 3000 ghana cities because the least i saw when i was doing the whole reaching out to makeup artists and all of that I, I had someone who was charging as low as 600 Ghana cities. So I would say from 600 Ghana cities to 3000 Ghana cities. Okay, this other person is asking about how long did it take you to plan the wedding? Did your hubby help? Okay, so I've already spoken about how long it took, it took me to plan um, and about my husband helping. Truth is, he left everything to me to, to plan, um, but then I kept like letting him in on what's going on and all of that and because he wanted everything my way like he wanted things to be done the way i wanted it so he left everything to me colors decor whatever you choose yeah the lady it's your day that was all he kept saying so i should do it my way however when it got to those points that i was getting stressed i always ran back to him because like 
he always came through so yeah he left everything to me but he was the problem solver and the stress reliever like whenever i got to those points that things were not going the way i wanted it people were stressing me out i had to let him in and then he would find a solution to it and then i move on so yeah that was how it was okay this other person says i love your ring please is it customized or you bought it if customized can i please have the contact of the person okay yes i didn't even mention her in my vendor list so my ring is custom made um it was made by adon jewelry gh um she's my husband's sister my husband's big sister and she's good at what she does like she's the best in the game so if you need someone to make your rings for you your chains she made this necklace as well so if you need someone to make your rings like all your jewelry just hit her up and she would sort you out so yeah i don't jewelry gh on instagram you can check her out um she's good no cap it's not because she's my she's my husband's sister but she's good she is good period okay now this person says did you plan everything before the proposal or after because i said everything went fast i know right <laughs> So, like I mentioned um, about how long it took for me to plan, I started planning before the proposal, to be fair. Um, and even in the proposal video, at the end of the video, I mentioned to you guys that we, like, he proposed to me a week before our, our, our traditional marriage. And we were already planning our marriage anyways. But um, he's always known that it's been one of my greatest fantasies to have like a proposal because i'm romantic like that yes i like romantic things so <laughs> so he knows and um he could have done that like way before but i guess mr man was waiting on his car to arrive and the car delayed him that's how come he proposed a week before our actual um traditional marriage date it's not as if we were not planning it already we were planning our marriage already but he still wanted it to happen just to make me happy and like i said i guess the car delayed him because he wanted to gift me a car as well so i said everything happened fast yes i know but i was i was planning it already like i was planning the we were planning the marriage already before the whole proposal thing came up so yeah okay guys so these are the questions i received from you concerning planning my traditional marriage or planning a wedding here in ghana i hope this video will be very helpful to whoever is about to start planning his or her wedding or whoever is in the process of planning his or her wedding i hope you'd find this video very helpful and it will help you to ease some stress and also go through the planning process smoothly don't forget to give this video a thumbs up if you found it helpful don't forget to hit the subscribe button below for more amazing content and don't forget to share this video with your friends and also don't forget to check out other videos from me on planning your wedding here in Ghana and I'll see you in my next video bye